Hi guys, this is Fernando. Uh, in the today's uh, video tutorial, I want to make a comparison between uh, uh, Deep to Fill directly into the render and set that it's a V ray channel to make a Deep to Fill in the post processing in Photoshop. Um, the main difference between those is that the, if you make the Deep to Fill effects in the render in the render time, um, probably you have to wait to too much time in order to get the effects um, and in the other hand if you render just a channel the CD channel then you can make very quick the effects in Photoshop in just a few minutes um, so uh, to demonstrate that I have this chair this um, chair that was modeled I think by Brian James from McNeil so thank you Brian for the model um, the first thing that we need in order to um, get the depth field effects is go to the V-Ray uh, options, then go to the camera rollout and enable the depth field effects. And what we need in order to get the depth field, I mean, the depth field is the uh, ability to get some object in focus. In this case, my front chair and other object out of the uh, out of the focus. In this um, sample, the back chair. So. Um, in my render, I need to define the the area or the object that will be uh, in focus. So I will define this area or this object using the target from the camera. So this is the t this is my camera. In order to enable the camera, right click on the camera, then select camera, and then show camera. Uh, and then this is the camera. So in my sample, the target point will define the object to appear in focus. And the aperture is the amount of the of the blurry of the blurriness effect, or the amount of the depth field effect. Uh, and my subdivision is the quality of that effect. So in my render, the front share this area should appear in focus, and the back share should appear out of the focus or blurry. So again, enable the. Also, you can override the distance or the uh, focal distance in order to set up or define other area using the override focal distance but for now I'm gonna use the target in order to define the the object to appear in focus so let's close this guy uh, let's click render okay well, click render I'm gonna to pause, to pause the video there you go this is the final render as you can see this area of the chair up here in focus and the back chair here out of the focus of blurry. Um, one of the uh, disadvantage of this method, I mean the depot field directly into the render, is that once the render is done, you can't uh, change uh, the field of view or the distance, or you can you can't cha change anything. And also the render time here is eight minutes and twenty one seconds. So. Um, but this is a cool effect to increase the real limbs in the scene. But um, let's see the, the other way to create a deep of fill. So I'm gonna close this guy here. The other way is to add um, C depth channels. So in order to add the, the C depth channels, I will disable. Well, I have to tell you if you are using the physical camera, the aperture is disabled, so you have to control the depth of fill through the F number. Okay, I'm going to disable both, and then I will go to the uh, V-Ray uh, channel, and then select the see the channel, and add it to the channel. Once you add the the uh, see the channel, um, V-Ray asks you about the black for the black and white color. What does guide means? Um, the white color is a plane from the camera to the uh, nearest nearest part of the object or the geometry and the uh, black uh, color is the distance from the camera to the uh, further away part of the model so the hard way to to get those objects is to create a line in my opinion create a line I'm going to extend those line kind of like that and then try to identify the distance so create another line and 
kind of snap and the third distance could be could be 51 no 51 50 something this is the distance that i uh should put in the in the white area and the far the further away uh, distance or, or plane could be one 29 one something 120 130 you know something like that uh, this is the hard way but the easy way is with the rhino script that Damien create um, this rhino script calculate uh, for you the black and the white plane so I'm going to select tools run script load and then I'm gonna use the um, set see that script when I click low he asks you to select the, all the object to be considered part of the uh, see that and I'm going to select the share the to share it's very important to go back to the camera and then I'm gonna click enter and then after the enter he, he asks you about the uh, the minimum color is e equal to white because you can change to white or black but typically the minimum color is white so the object closer to the camera appear white and the object further away from the camera appear black and this is the way how I want it so then I click enter when I click enter the uh, script automatically put my my value here in the C that so um, saying that the C that file is a, a basically is a grayscale image that uh, is a graphically representation of the depth in their scene and we are going to use the, that uh, uh, image to make a uh, deeper fill in Photoshop so I click render and pause it here we go this is final render we have two basic uh, uh, different here one is both object all the object are in focus and the second one is a render time so my previous render time with a deeper fill was uh, eight minutes and right now is three minutes and 56 seconds so this is a very fast render with the same quality but all objects are in focus so let's go to the um this is the cd file the cd image um, we are going to use this image to uh, compose the type of feeling photoshop okay go to photoshop so i already have the share in photoshop and the only thing that i need to do the the first thing that i need to have to do is Control A to copy the the uh, C uh, channel. Control uh, C to copy, and then go back to the image, go to the channel, and add a new channel. Then paste paste the C depth on the channel. Then go back to the layer. Then go to the file filter, blurry, and lens blurry, and in here. You can control the focal distance. It's, it's very important that the, as a search, you have the alpha channel. Um, with this method, you can control the uh, focal distance of the share in order to decrease or increase the, the object to appear in focus. So you have more control um, through this me method. And also, uh, you, you don't have to wait too long for the render time. So this is the best way, I mean, the difference between sit up and depth fill again render time is faster with the setup and you can control everything that the amount of depth fill or the object to appear in focus field of view in the for in photoshop okay this is all for you bye bye